What's up guys, Graham Holmberg here at Rogue Fitness Headquarters. Wanted to talk to you about the new Rogue Dog Sled. Talking about six different attachments that we can add on to it. First thing that you're gonna notice here on the side, we've added some laser cut holes. And that's gonna be uh, the main change that's gonna allow you to add the attachments. The normal sled that you're used to seeing with two normal upright posts, this is where we're gonna start off with driving and pushing. Another great thing about this new design is the laser cut holes on both sides of the pan. This allows you to pull the sled without any other attachments. All right, so the first attachment that I was gonna show you guys today is the low bar attachment. This is probably the most difficult attachment to add on because it puts you in the most inclined uh, bent over uh, position, similar to a mountain climber, making it very difficult to breathe as you're pushing the sled. The second attachment that we have is the high bar, very similar to the low bar. You're gonna be leaning over as you drive and push. This isn't quite as challenging on your breathing because the bar is a little bit higher up. You also will notice that your back won't get as tired as you push and drive on the high bar. All right guys, so we're gonna take a look at the double handle attachment. You can start by pushing on the lower handle. As the sled push gets a little bit more difficult, you can bump up to the higher handle. So we're gonna take a look at the Lawn Boy sled attachment. The handle is a little bit longer, so the weight sits out a little bit away from you, making uh, the sled push feel a little bit different than some of your normal attachments when you're up over the weight. We have the wraparound rail attachment. This makes it really great for when you're pulling the sled and you need to be able to change directions quickly. I can easily stop, slide around, and get going the other direction. Okay guys, so we're looking at the wheelbarrow attachment. With the front end piece here, you're gonna get an attachment, plus you can just use a normal bumper plate from your gym. I would recommend a, a normal high temp 45 pound bumper plate. It's recycled rubber, it's gonna be a lot more durable and it's gonna spin well for you. Plus you can take your two posts right out of your normal rogue uh, dog sled, slide those in. Now you have your wheelbarrow ready to go. You're gonna find that you're gonna get grip work, midline work, plus some of the unpredictability of how the sled turns as you get tired. There's your wheelbarrow attachment, giving you guys seven total configurations with six new attachments when you guys get the new Rogue dog sled. <laughs>